Hello everyone, in the last video we, make th we made this, a hoverboard that auto-regulates itself, um, auto-balances, but we cannot jump up there, we cannot control it, the height, uh, nor where it goes, but, well, we're halfway there. So, let's see how we can do it. The first thing is to make the character jump a lot. So in order to do that, well, first of all, I'm going to lower the volume when it shoots because I'm getting deaf. 0.01. And we're going to click on the capsule component. And right here, we're going to type jump. Oops. Okay. Not that. Uh, the, the first person character, sorry. Here, in the character, it says jump max hold time I'm going to type 50 for example which is a pretty big uh, number and five jump or six I don't know it, it's just just a number so now if you if you press space and don't let it go you can pretty much fly so now we can stand on it I have to change the material this is pretty boring so that's it, and I can jump multiple times. So, um, in order to be able to control it, I'm, gonna, I'm going to change the material it has uh, to, I don't know, bu -bu -bu -bum. Uh, many hours later. There you go, this will do. This will do pretty much. So now we can see through it. We can see where we are, and that it works. We can see the the uh, the line traces. Uh, so basically, you can see here the idea on how to move the hoverboard. You just um, lower one of the edges, and it will move to regulate itself unless it touches something like that in which case it won't work as as good as it does but once you move it once you move it again it works just fine so let's get into how to do that um the first thing well first thing this is an actor and an actor can't receive input so in order to uh, control it because, for example, if you imagine you have um, two hopper boards, I'm going to delete the walls and I'm going to make the floor much bigger. Um, like, I don't know, I'm going to take the scale tool in the X and Y axis and make it a lot bigger, like that. I'm going to build 12 seconds later. Okay, so it is done now. Um, we can place our hoverboard in another place. And I'm going to add another one to demonstrate why I want it to, to be this way. Um, I'm going to go to the first person character, which I have opened here. And, well, first of all, we have to go to the project settings and add two input axes if it loads. Several bad puns later. Okay, so the input in the axis mappings, I'm going to add two of them. One is going to be uh, move, move uh, hover, for example, and the other one is going to be uh, go up. In the move hover, I'm going to use the shift. <laughs> Forget what I've just written. Uh, and the other one is to going to be the control. And the control is going to be minus one. To go up, it is going to be uh, Q to go up and E to go down. E, there you go. E to go down. 
So that's it. And we go to the first person character and we add the two input taxes. One is, uh, was go up. Oops. Go up. And the other was move thruster. Ah, move hover. <laughs> there you go. The first thing we want to add is a function called pointing hover. What this function will do is to take the hoverboard we are pointing at automatically. So we want to do again a line trace by channel. And we want to take the camera and see where is it pointing. So get, this function is pretty useful. Uh, get forward vector is one of the most useful stuff in the game. Uh, get world location, that is the start of the line trace. And uh, the distance, the max distance we wanted to interact with objects. And I'm going to go with a big number. And that's the end. So we, I don't want it to debug, to draw a debug. And if it hit anything, and the hit, I'm going to break it. If the hit object, hit object, uh, well, well, cast to hoverboard. If the hit object is a hoverboard, hoverboard. If you want to know, if you want to know what a cast is, click on this video up here, because it will explain itself really nicely. Um, and as a hoverboard, I want to set the height. And well, this is this is the height. Well, this is a function, so we have to return the hoverboard. Um, we take the, that and we put an output called hover of type actor reference. Well, hoverboard reference. And we have to return that. Then. There you go. And in the other one, I'm going to leave it empty. Because if we cannot cast it, then it is not a hover. So it will give an error and we don't want it. Uh, in case it's false, we also want to... Yeah, that. So we compile and we go to the go up. Get the point on hold, by the way, I want it pure. And um, now, we want to take the height of this. What the hell? Oh, because I didn't have it. Get height. What's the matter with this? I don't know what's the matter with this. Seriously. Get height. There's there's the variable I wanted. And we're going to multiply the axis times the height times 0 0.1. And now we're going to take this again and add it. There you go. Well, it's a little bit messy, but as I said, I don't care about it right now. Now, if the... Well, first of all, we want to check if the um, asset is valid. So it, if it is valid, then we want to change the height. So set height. And we set it to this we have. This. There you go. So each time now I press um, Q or E, it will 
raise or lower one of the so you can see now well it went a little bit high so let's see why um, I can make it higher or lower well that's because I have to um, instead of 0 0.1 0 0.01 and that will work let's see yeah it goes lower and I'm going to lower the... Well, you can see it falls really slowly. That's because of the um, linear dumping. I'm going to lower it to 2.5, half of that. So let's see now how it does. I think it's uh, still too low. So I'm going to put it to 1 and see. How is that? Whoa. Much better. Much better. Let's see what happens if I stand on it now. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep lowering it at, until I see it does nicely. Whoa, that's a big jump. Well, you can see it does like springs, so it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I like it. Whoa, what happened there? Damn. Well, it's pretty cool. You can play with that. It's really, <laughs> really cool. Um, now we have to learn how to move it and in order to do that I'm going to take all of this and I'm to, going to copy it in the event graph there so why did I want to do this because here we want to in the norm in the impact point uh, we want to add impulse um, at location there you go uh, the target is going to be the hoverboard the static the static mesh of the hoverboard and the impulse is going to be well, I'm going to take I'm going to take this the get forward vector and I'm going to multiply it um, times the input axis and times the magnitude. The magnitude is going to be a thousand for example and we put that into the impulse and the location is going to be the location and that's it. This will work too I think it should. Let's see. Um, well maybe the impulse is too low I think. I don't know. Um, There you go. That was the problem. That was the problem. Yep. So there you go. You can see now we can control it. You obviously you have to adjust adjust the uh, sensitivity of the thing because right now is like crazy. But if we if you change the numbers, I think it will work pretty 
cool. You, you can see I can move it. I can walk with it. And stuff. So yeah, I hope you learned something new. You liked it. And if you want more, more tutorials like this, you have any doubts, please comment it down below. Whoa, what happened there? Comment it down below because we are available pretty much all the day, so... Don't worry about it. Click like, click subscribe. It's free. See you in the next one. Goodbye.